Hi, this is Brian Ierson again from the Computer Workshop. Today we're going to learn how to create a grid pattern in PowerPoint, but you can easily take these ideas and use them in any of your other softwares that you work with, uh, be it um, Microsoft or Adobe or pretty much any program. The same set of tools will be available. All right, so we're going to create a simple grid that we will expand on later and turn into a Jeopardy board type of interaction. So to begin with, we're going to draw a shape. So I'm going to just come into PowerPoint here. I've got a blank slide. I'm going to grab a rectangle shape. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the rectangle and draw a small box. So there's the first object. We are going to make a grid of a whole bunch of objects that are identical. So at this point, I don't want to copy and paste. I just want to have this selected and use my keyboard shortcut of Control D. Control D, D, D. Each time I do a Control D with an object selected, I basically just duplicate it. Now I can use my keyboard shortcut Control A to select all of these objects. Or if you're more comfortable with your mouse, you can click and <coughs> pardon me you can click and drag a selection box over all of those to include them in a single selection now we could come back up here to the format tab very easily and use our arrange uh, group of tools here where we can see the align and we need to make sure what we're aligning to the selected to the uh, selection objects or to the slide itself and then we would come back in and start making decisions as to how we're going to align or distribute. We'll also see all of our group controls, send to back, bring to front. Now, in an earlier tutorial, we went through and created a custom drawing tab of our own. So I'm going to use mine, which is up here, and I named this New Drawing, where I have all of my controls without having to deal with any dropdowns. It's just a little bit more of a convenient and comfortable um, method of working. So first things first, I have all these and I want to make sure that I'm aligning to the selected objects. So I want them all to act in relation to each other. And I'm going to want a horizontal line of boxes. So I'm going to align these to their middle. Now I could also use a line top or a line bottom. And you can see we just get that perfect line there. Now I want to go ahead and change from aligning the uh, objects to the selected, to themselves basically, align selected objects to align to the slide. We're now going to use the distribute horizontally command, which will put an even gap between each object and the edges of the slide itself. So this is a dead accurate way to create the first row of our Jeopardy board boxes. Once we've got these, we're going to go ahead and group them. We want to make these act as if they're a single unit. So I'm going to click group. And that puts the bounding box around the whole set here. This does not mean that I cannot change my mind and go in there and tweak something while still leaving it as a group. I can simply click on one of the objects inside, make whatever changes I need, deselect, and then reselect, and you'll see that it will be a single group still. Okay, so we have our first line. We're going to go back to our Control D, and we're going to make three more. So Control D, 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 and now I can let go of the Control key. Control a to select everything. I'm still going to be aligning to the slide and I'm going to use the distribute vertically and that's going to give us a dead spacing vertically and now I'm going to align these to the center of the slide and we have a perfect grid pattern and we only needed to draw one shape and just duplicate it several times quickly use our alignment tools and build our base. Duplicate that, 
align it again and have the whole structure built. Now I do want to be able to click and work with each of these objects independently so you will notice that you also have your ungroup button up here or I have put my ungroup button. If I'm not working with my custom tab the quickest way that I'm going to work with this will be to simply right click on my selection whoops, and go and find that group command where I can group or ungroup things. At this point I would want to ungroup everything and give me the ability to select any one of these to continue working and building whatever I need. So thank you for your time today. I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, please uh, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We do put out videos every week, just little three to five minute tutorials. So if you like this, please subscribe. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day.